What it do, YouTube? It's your boy AJ, and we back with another motherfucking video. No cap, so my day already pretty much I already started. I should have been grabbed a camera and showed y'all a little something, something, but uh, right now I'm headed to the uh, car wash because, okay, cool. We head to the car wash because we need to wash the car, need to wash the charge, no cap. But I already just got another tire. Damn. I should have showed y'all that because my tire was bad. I ain't gonna lie, that motherfucker was bald headed like a hoe with no hair, no cow. But right now, as y'all see, we at the car wash. I'm finna wash the car because the car dirty. I'm finna show y'all what it look like real quick. You know what I'm saying? Shit, we already got a tire. I'm gonna head back to my other car because I got some I need to show y'all that I've been working on. I ain't really been recording in a long time, so. It's really gonna be a new video, you know what I'm saying? We gon' <clears throat> we gonna get this shit started, no cap. So uh, after I get done showing y'all washing the car, we gotta go to my other car and finish getting the e-brake cable off because you know I had to cut the e-brake cable off to put the rear end in this car, but we got some more stuff coming for the rear end, so I need to get that other e-brake cable off first. So when I take this rear end off, I can just go ahead and replace that. So I get these. I'm gonna show y'all. I gotta get these lights off my dash. I don't like how it's looking. Let me show y'all real quick. So, you see, I got ABS light on. I got the ESP and I got traction control. That I, them all came on when I, um, those all came on when I picked the new brand in. And I don't know if maybe the, um, I don't know, maybe the e brake cable caused that to happen. But I mean, see when I get that brake, the brake light still come on. I don't know. So I'm gonna replace that. I'm gonna replace all the uh, brake pads and the inside of the drum. And hopefully those lights go off. My check is light on because I don't know if we got any Dodge Experts, but as you see, it's in here at 53 PSI. And that's because my, um, my oil pressure sensor is going out. So I think it's ringing kind of high. Every now and then it go up and then it'll go down. Like right now I say 53, but just that little tap gonna send it all the way to 76. So but yeah, right now we finna get into washing the car and then we gonna turn the camera back on, right?
Alright, let's see how much it is. 650. I think I saw it. Okay, 650. Okay, I'm gonna show y'all what the car look like real quick. Okay. Pop out real quick. I got some trash to throw away. Nah, I'll show y'all what this look like real quick. We got a little, we got a little bit of little some cars on the Arkansas. No cap, we got a little something a little rough. I know I gotta start popping up. I ain't gonna lie, baby. I've been put up a little minute, but YouTube gonna make me pop out. Show y'all what the city look like. You feel me? Like that's how we be coming for real. Big shit, big shit, fast shit. You know what I'm saying? That's how we come in the city. That's how we come in. But yeah, like I said, I got some trash to throw away. I'm finna. Get to this real quick. And then I'm gonna try to show y'all what it look like here. One, two. I've been doing to get this little e brake cable off, and then after that, you no know, cap, that's really about it though. But let me show y'all what I bought real quick though. All right, y'all. So I did a little Harbor Freight, and I went and got me a little, uh, little punching chisel set because I'm thinking I can use either this one, this one, or I can try to make this one work. Cause I need to get the cross pin out my uh, differential because I'm trying to do a little refresh up on it. So when I can get to that, you know what I'm saying? I'm thinking one of these right here, be able to, if I can modify that when I get that one, get the little cross pin out. But I bought this because I need to get the um, e-brake cable off the spindle and it's held in by, it's not even held in by one of these, but I think one of these in here should fit and I need these and I don't need the other tool like that. So I'm I'm thinking I can get one of them out with one of these. So hopefully if I can, I could just get that. If not, then I'll just go back and get the right tool. You know, they give you one of these little papers or whatever. Yeah, I need to sponsor me though. Come on, hop afraid. You know what I'm saying? I I know I just started YouTube or whatever, but I've been shopping with y'all for about 15, 20 years. Come on now. Chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out. Maybe 10. I'm only I ain't that old now. But yeah, though, you know what I'm saying? They gave you one of these. I got a few of these, you know what I'm saying? A couple of them that ain't the point, though. But yeah, that's what I got this for. Hopefully, I get the cross pin now. And now we're finna head to the shop and hopefully just get the e-brake cable out. Yes, my car dirty. I don't want to talk about it. That's why I washed it. But we're finna get right into it. Show y'all a little something, something real quick. I'm trying to think which way I need to go in. I be seeing a lot of cities. I don't know about really be showing little rock like that. It ain't really too much out here. I ain't even gonna lie. It's a lot of stuff if you ain't never been here before, but it's pretty much just a natural type of state. But yeah, though, we finna try to see what we can get into up in traffic. Hopefully this guy come on. Get lit 
city in this city, boy. And I got the air on tweaking. I could have went crazy. But yeah, though, that's all we really into. Y'all know, y'all know from uh, YouTube, we we get down on the ASP boy. They don't really fuck with us like that. You know what I'm saying? Got the roof. Where we at with it? Where we at with it? Yes, sir, Ski. Where the marks at? Ah, uh, yeah, we, we don't really fuck up this intersection like that. You see a little bit. Let me see if I can. You see a little bit. You see a little bit. We get down a little bit. But we ain't like, we ain't got like uh, them other places yet, though. Let me get back right. Let me get back right. Let me get back. Yes, sir. Gotta watch your words. Your foes. You try to get a buff off me. Okay. This motherfucker get down, but yeah, though, we finna head back to the city real quick. We got them things. No cow. We got the little fit right beside us. Thing is, though, most of these little old motherfuckers, they don't be trying to raise, though. They be having that shit, but they don't be want to raise, though. I don't care. I don't care if this is a RT. RT, come see me. Okay. Let me see. I don't even like being on this page. Anyway. I need to see you where my game manager is. Oh. Come on. Shot at. Gonna get into it though. Kissy. I got that arrow. See, gonna go another big thing. I don't know if y'all seen him. Huh? Yeah, 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 Shit, nah, but while I'm riding though, anybody that ever had a pedal box and had a Diablo, do y'all think that Diablo tuner uh throttle boost better than the uh pedal box? That's what I've been wondering wondering. Or can you put both on both? You know what I'm saying? Like can you put a pedal box on top of a uh Diablo tune when you put the little throttle boost all the way up? Cause I be seeing people do that shit and like it worked like damn, I was just kinda hold on. Let me get this custom space. Like you look at it, it'll like it'll, it'll, you know what I'm saying? It's boosting. I just wonder if it could be any any better a little bit. Like if I add that to it, would it make a difference? Like a real difference? Cause I don't really know though, but. Alright y'all, so we at the motherfucking shop, no cap. You see that bitch in the air, no cap. Damn, that bitch can't swim there. No cap, so we here, and my battery is low. I can't believe that, like, I need to give me a charge of ASAP, because I'm tired of this, bro. Every time I try to record a video, it's either I ain't got no storage or my phone finna die. But what we gonna do is, we are gonna try these one first, cause these got all the, Damn, I ain't got no gag. But we gonna try these first because these got all the little numbers on it, so. We're gonna cut the cobs real quick. See, got this up in the air. 
Ain't gonna lie, we been going, we been going ham. See, they go to the other one right there, we could be coming to take it out. Right, you can see my skin look like it's on fire. Right, come on. Oh shit. They trying to fuck up too. Oh shit. I told y'all these boys be going crazy. Yeah, you can't fuck up with the. I told y'all we're gonna be one of the cleanest YouTubers. I just need to get that back like that guy. Ain't nobody fucking with me. We know that. So uh, we gonna start. We just gonna pick one. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, this one, this one right here, look like it's good. So we can see one about where this put us at. Damn, I had to hold the camera. But yeah, this it's close, but it ain't it. So we gonna go to the next one. Next one was a nine, so yep, man, we got it. Yep. Hopefully, I can hurry up and finish this so I can get back to the charger. Well, the charger on my car. Everything. Here we go. Boom, no cow, bro. This shit took me forever. But okay, if you ever want to know how to take this off, but I'm gonna give y'all another recap on the uh when I take the rear end out this car and redo it. But this go in there, and as you see, where is that? This right here is in like a clip, and it's in here like spring in. And then once you take this, I got the tool in my car. Like I said, I y'all recap. You pull this, and when you pull this. See, if you see that, you can pull this, and when you pull this, it pull on this, because as you see, you got a spring on it. When you pull on the spring, it'll pull it out, out of there. But first, what I did, when I took this whole assembly right here apart, which it wasn't really nothing, I just took a flathead, did something to go right there. You just push that little, little clip in, pull it off, then the first brake pad fall off, and then you just take off the springs that go right there, and then it's another one right there. You take those springs out, then the bottom one to fall off, then this allow the spring to take the tension off the brake pad. Then once you take the tension off the brake pad, then it allow you to pull this part out of here. Once you pull it out of there, because there's another piece to go right there. Once you pull this out of there, then you go up there, then you can pull this piece out. Let me see. You see a little marks right there. Let me see if I can right there it's a few marks right there where i did that then it's a little this part right here you just push down on these clips i just use some um vice grips well not some vice grips but just on what you know what i'm talking about i can't think of the name pliers i just use some pliers squeeze this and pull it at the same time and now as i was going i was twisting it and it finally came out and boom here we go so now when i um take the rear end apart all i gotta do is i can't even see it on this side but it it's on this side and all i gotta do is now i can replace this and hopefully it fix that e-brake cable like but yeah i'm gonna take y'all to my shop real quick yeah one more good look at this put some tire shine on it so y'all can see what the car look like 
throw some tire shine on it and that's probably gonna be the end of the video Got the e-brake cable, we done washed the car. Looking good as ever, like hours, no cap. So if y'all like what y'all see, like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what y'all wanna see next, cause we got a lot coming more next, so dang, look. Look, hey, ain't gon' cap the bitch get on my nerves.